In this video, I'm gonna teach you an easy to understand NASDAQ 100 scalping system. And in fact, you're gonna notice these setups a lot. So let's go ahead and jump right on my screen and I'm gonna show you how to find these easy to understand scalping entries. Now, before we go ahead and dive into the strategy, one of my favorite old sayings is, if you can't explain a trading strategy in under five minutes, then you really don't have a trading strategy at all. But actually in the next three minutes, you're gonna completely understand this trading strategy. So here we go. I'm gonna show you what I got on the chart. This green line right here is our 100 simple moving average. This light blue line is the 30 EMA and the darker blue line is the EMA smooth by a period of 10. And if price is above all three, then you know price is in a pretty steady uptrend. If price is down below all three, then you know we're in a steady downtrend. But here at the top of this, we have a nice consolidation box right here. And as we go, price all of a sudden breaks out, but then it retests and check out this candle right here. Now, this candle right here tells us a lot of things. First, it is my favorite candle called the kangaroo tail. It's a hybrid of shooting stars, hammers, but it is a very, very nice reversal candle with certain criteria. And the way they work is, obviously, if you use the moving averages as support and resistance, you can go ahead and enter trades. So in this example, we had a clear break and retest situation, a kangaroo tail printed on the chart, which is actually a bearish kangaroo tail. So the way we would have entered this trade is very straightforward. We would have entered right here at the close and we would have put a stop loss right on the top. And now what we are hoping is this is kind of entering counter trend, but we're hoping to get price to break over those moving averages, because let me tell you, if price breaks these moving averages on a kangaroo tail, you're going to get a monster trade. There's no other way to explain it. And as price went, it also gave another kangaroo tail right there. But what you would have done is you would have hold for the moving average crossover. And if you notice here, we have a bullish kangaroo tail. By the way, the indicator that I use that has all these bells and whistles built in is called the reversals. It comes with the color coded 100 moving average and the EMAs. So lots and lots of bells and whistles. In fact, if I show you here, you can even set up entry and stop loss and TP lines. So right here, this is set up for a reward your risk of just two. And this trade went really nice. But by holding for the moving average crossover, you can catch a much, much bigger chunk of profit. Now, we did have this bullish kangaroo tail, but because price had already crossed the initial moving averages were already in the cells, we would filter that one out and completely ignore it. So as price goes, it does try to retest the 100 moving average, but we just keep holding. And there's another additional entry right here we would have entered another trade because we know the trend is our friend. We're going to enter additional entries and we're going to hold and see what happens. And as we see here as the market open, we did get a retest, but this did go down a little bit for uh, almost four hours. And let me tell you, a lot of these kangaroo tails, like an hour or two before all the stocks open for NASDAQ, you're going to get a lot of consolidation like this. You're going to see a lot of break and retests. And you can use these wicks for simple entries. You're going to put a stop loss on top of the wick if it's a bearish kangaroo tail as so and you're just going to hold and your exit points are going to be either the moving averages, especially the 100 moving average. And once price breaks all these moving averages, you can just close the trade. So about 35 minutes after the market opened on August 24th, 2022, we have this bullish kangaroo tail on the one minute. Now, what would we have done? We're going to enter this trade because as I explained earlier, we are hoping for a counter trend. We want price to cross over. And if it breaks those moving averages, you're going to have some monster trade. So if we look here, price is broke and it gave two additional bullish kangaroo tail entries. Now here's how you would have entered all three trades. We're going to obviously put stop losses on each of the wicks, but let's go ahead and drag this up. I mean, you do the math and you're getting monster R's just simply following the trend with the moving averages until you get the crossover. So up here you have the 30 EMA finally get crossed. You could wait for the 100 moving average to cross, which you could have got out right there. And if we add this all up, if you would have gotten out at the 30 EMA initial crossover, you would have gotten six hours out of that one. This one would have given another five hours and this big one would have given 11. So well over 20 hours following the kangaroo tail strategy. Now these kangaroo tails are predefined with set body percent sizes specific criteria. In fact, if you want to learn more about how this indicator works for the reversals, I'll leave the link down in the video description. Check that out. It's about a 15 minute breakdown about how specifically to trade this indicator on NASDAQ 100. 
But with that said, that's all I have for you in this video. And if you want, come join my live streams. I trade live every single weekday at 6.30 a.m. And I'm on for a couple hours or a little earlier, depending on how I am feeling. So check that out. Have a good rest of the day.